to Jesus. Praise to the God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit. Amen. Praise to the one who loved mankind so much that he sent his only son so that through his blood that we will all make right with God. Amen. amen. Without blood of Lord Jesus Christ, we are all sinful, sinful human beings and we are going to end up in hell. When we look at the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, when we repent, we were offered eternal life with God himself. Thanks to the Lord Jesus Christ. Today, we want to talk about marriage and life within marriage. I Absolutely. believe you've got lots of experiences on that. <laughs> yes, I, I certainly do. So, is, is, in some heart, yeah. Islamic scripture teaches that Muhammad is the best example to mankind at all times. Yes. And Hadith goes a little bit deeper and then gives us one of the examples what actually Quran means. In the Majah, 1977, you can read the same thing from Tilmide. It was narrated from Ibn Abbas that Prophet Muhammad said, the best of you is the one who is best to his wife. And I am the best of I am the best of you to my wives. Wow, that's interesting. So Muhammad is saying, I am not only best examples to mankind, yes. I am also best husband. Yeah. So do we agree with that? The Muslims agree that Muhammad is the one is the perfect role model yes. and he's also the perfect example of what a husband should be. A perfect husband? Sorry? Is he the best example of a husband? Yes, he is. Okay, so yeah. we'll so, look into that. So marriage takes place according to Christian scripture between us, one husband, one wife, until the end of your life. Yes. And in the practical life, we know marriage is hard. Yep, 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 yep. You have to give up your pride and then say to your wife every day, Okay, my dear. You say in the Bible? I'm sorry. <laughs> those big words. Even though you know you are right, still you say, I am sorry, my dear. <laughs> so marriage, marriage is hard work. Yes. And in the marriage, we know that sometimes we disagree with one another. Absolutely. I mean, that, that's the same in relationships, relationships, period. Relationships Sometimes, are hard. So yes, relationships are hard. We have disagreements, we have different opinions, and many a times um, there's several conflicts in the way we think and the way we share, we, we have, we have, where our ideas are. And so relationships are not easy. How much more marriage in an inter intimate setting, um, which is more intense, where you have two people who have one holy matrimony, which is an, a, a, a lifetime commitment and contractual agreement to be with each other, it becomes very difficult. So, what would happen when you have a uh, disagreement with your wife? What would you do? What do you do? Well, what I try to do, what I try to do is I try to communicate I try to verbalize, your verbalize my issues <laughs> and of course we have to try and compromise as well because we can't have it our way all the time. <laughs> so, since Muhammad is the best example yeah. as a husband, let's see how he dealt with his wife when yeah. there is a disagreement. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So, we want to look at the certain wife and then just pick one scenario. Mm. We know in Surah 4 verse 34, mm. Allah tells husband they have right to be their wives. Yeah. Okay? Let's first read the verse for us, brother. Okay, let's Surah read this. So, okay. Oh, you got that? Um, no, I've got out Sal Bukhari here. Yeah. Okay, Surah. Surah 4, verse 34. Yes. Where Allah tells husband they can beat their wife. Okay, Surah 4, verse 34. Alright, here we go. Men, 
are in charge of women because Allah has made the one of them to excel the other. And because they spend of their property so for, for, for the support of women. So good women are the uh, obedience, guarding in secret, that which Allah has guarded. As for those from whom you fear rebellion, admonish them and banish them to beds apart and chastise them. When if they obey you, seek not a way against them. Allah is ever high, exalted and great. So in my translation, <laughs> In my translation, the verse states as beat them, strike them. Surah 4, verse 34. That's the word chastise, yeah. But those from whom you fear arrogance, mm. advise them. Forsake them in bed and strike them. Mm. So when there is a disagreement between husband and wife, mm. okay, or when the husband fears, which hasn't put in action yet, that woman is going to be disobedient, then you can beat your wife. What, what do you think of that as a Muslim? What do you think of that? You know, Muslim. Oh, so my. What do you think that as a man? As a man, would you beat your wife? The question is, she's asking is that as a man? Just as a man, are you, are you married? Okay, I'm sure you plan to get married one day. Maybe, yeah? We'll see. So do you think it's okay? Would you say it's okay? Would you, for example, you had, if you had a, a friend or a son, you wanted to give them some advice. Would you say it's okay to beat your wife? Would you say that? Just a question as a man. Or do you think it's fine? If you think it's fine, it's okay. You don't like violence. Okay, so the question we're asking is, is it okay? Would it, would it be fine to give advice or to, to, uh, for someone to beat their wife. What do you think of the woman? As a lady, what do you think? We just read a verse and, you know, from the Quran and Allah is stipulating, he's allowing men to beat their wives if they're disobedient. Yes. Let's read that. Let's read it. I'm, I'm a Christian. Read it. I know. Are you a Christian? I am. My dad's a pastor. I grew up at the coast. I know everything about Christianity. I studied Islam. Okay. I know when you take a verse from, a from the Bible and don't bring what comes before and after it, mm. it can be taken out of context. So that's okay. the verse from the Quran. But I said read it all, not just one verse. Because okay. if I go on the Bible in my phone and take out one verse, it's going to tell when God told, every told everybody to kill the village, the women, the children, and everybody. So let's just read it all and not take it in context. Okay. I'm about love. And that's it. So read it all in a minute. So and can I you read the verse 4 I'll read the verse. Four verse again, four and, uh, and then start from verse 33. Okay, I'm going to start from... This is, this is the verse I was reading. I'm going to read the verse before that, yeah? And then we'll read the verse after, yeah? So that we get the context, yeah? So listen carefully, yes? Okay. And to each we have appointed heirs of that which parents and near relations live. Leave, sorry. And for those with whom your right hands have made a covenant, give them their due. Allah is ever witness over all things. Next verse, 34. Men are in charge of women because Allah has made the one of them to excel the other. And because they spend of their property for the support of women, so for, sorry, spend of their property for the support of women. So, Good women are obedient, guarding in secret, and where Allah has guarded. And as for those whom you fear rebellion, admonish them and banish, uh, so, so, fear, uh, admonish them and banish them to bed apart and chastise them. Then, if they obey you, seek not a way against them. Allah is ever high, exalted, and great. That's the content. Okay. Hold on. Let me read five. Hold on. We're gonna we're gonna give you two. We're gonna give you two. And if we're gonna read the last verse, yeah. And if they fear a breach between them both, the man and wife, appoint an arbiter from his people, an arbiter from her people. If they desire amendment, Allah will make them of one mind. Allah is ever knower aware. So, will you agree with us that we've read you? Yeah. The verse above, yeah. 
The verse below, yeah. we're trying to give you the context, yeah. okay? So, the verse clearly states, okay, right? Now, obviously, we know, I mean, I'm not sure if you know much about Arabic, I mean, um, about Islam. But, according to Muslims, this Quran was revealed in pure or in perfect Arabic, okay? And so, when we look at the words, for example, my, my sister has a, a translation, and I've got a different translation, but the Arabic is most important. The Arabic word is beat. Beat your women. So the question is this, do we agree that it's okay? Or should we, do we agree with Allah that it's fine to beat our wives? Do we, well, we agree with them. You agree with Allah? Okay, okay. So anyone else agree with Allah? We've got, the, we've got someone who thinks it's all right to beat the wife. Yes. Wife beater. Anyone else? What does he mean? What does he mean? So when he says beat, the question us? is what did he really mean? Clearly, he didn't say give him hug, give her hug. Clearly, he didn't say make her hot chocolate. He said beat her. And beating her after, after, first you told her off, and then you separate the bed, and then you beat her. So you do all three things all together? It says all these things, yes? It says, I'll just read it to you. It says, banish them from your beds. Does that sound like, does that sound like he's trying to communicate? Are you a Christian? I am a Christian, yes. Let me ask you a question. As a Christian, why go through the Quran? Is it on this subject? No, but let me ask you, you're a Christian now. I'm a Christian. They don't like Christians. No, but I want to ask you. Right, but why? we are, we are doing a topic. I, I, I can talk to you afterwards, but we no, want to address this subject. Very quick. I don't talk Sure, okay. Go on. But why not, why not as Christians do what Jesus did and just show love? Okay. You, you, do, do, can I, can I respond to it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. See, the problem is, is this, is that... You don't have to bash another person. Wait, wait, wait. You asked a question? You asked a question? Can I respond yeah, to your question? Course. Okay. So you said, why can't we, just like Jesus did, yeah. show love? Now, of course, we do believe that Jesus showed love. Yeah. Now, the thing is, what we have is sometimes people have a, a misconception or misunderstanding of what love is. Yeah. Okay? Love actually is one of the greater good for someone else. No, the Bible says hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You ask me to respond. Yeah, you ask me to respond. You ask me. No, it doesn't matter. You, you, you need to. You need to wait one person at a time. One person at a time, my you friend. Know, you know what? No, my friend, one time. Okay. So now, so now, so now, so now, this lady asked a question, but she doesn't want to wait for a response. She wants a heckle. Okay. So, so the lady asked, "What is love?" Love Real love, love is what Jesus did. How did you? How does the Bible, does the Bible um, describe love? love? The Bible says that, Je that Jesus or God. Are you going to wait for the answer or are you going to run off? I just told you. Wait for the answer and then we'll, and then you can respond to it. Okay. okay. The Bible says that God. Just, just one minute. Just one minute. God demonstrated His love towards us, and that while we were sinners, Christ died for us. Right? Okay. And so love is sacrificially given to others this is what we're taught in the bible right okay now sometimes i don't know if you've ever heard this saying that truth hurts but you know what truth actually is given in love because you want the best for someone so rather than lie to them and then they find themselves in hell you hold on hold on you give them the truth and then you um you kind of you take off the shackles or the chains of lies that's deceiving them and this is the reason we're here because we love the Muslims and so we want to give them the truth so that they're able to come out of this darkness dark religion called Islam that's what we're doing so, so, as we are talking about Surah minute, 4 verse sure. 34 asking the question do you agree with Allah that it's all right to beat your wife we had someone who said yes sir would you beat your wife um, let me let me answer. Can I answer it? Your can, can I answer you're, 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 you're stuttering. Can I answer it my way? Yes or no? Go, go, go. Does yeah, your yeah. Bible allow women to divorce? Does your Bible allow women to divorce? So my question is very simple. Do you agree with Allah that you can beat your wife? And then answer is about the Bible. That is not an answer. So when you do not respond to the question, I take that as yes. Since you are the slave of Allah, you have no right to talk or um, question the decision of Allah. <laughs> Allah says, beat your wife. And Muhammad, who's supposed to be the best husband, what he did? He beat his wife.
also advise other people to be the ones. Oh, you don't believe that? Sahih Muslim 21-27 Muhammad bin Aisha and remember who is Aisha? Aisha married Muhammad when she was six years old. While Muhammad was in his fifties, Muhammad had sex with her while she was nine years old. And this best husband thinks it's all right to beat his wife. So Sahib is name 21, 27. Okay, so we want to read where Muhammad, the Prophet of Islam, beats his wife. Okay, let's look at that. Right, the perfect role model. Shall, shall I read? Shall I just read towards the end of it because uh, yeah, it's quite long. Read it from why it is. Okay. All right. So, okay, okay. So he says this. Why is it, O oh Aisha, but you are out of breath? I said, there is nothing. He said, tell me, tell me, or the subtle and the way should inform me. I said, Messenger of Allah, may my father and mother be ransom for you and then i told him the whole story um, the whole story he said was it the darkness of your shadow that i saw in front of me i said yes he struck me on the chest which caused pain sahib bukhari muslim sahib muslim 4 21 27. so muhammad is the best husband to mankind. Yes, he is. Okay? And as a best husband, he beat his wife. Is that the best example that, to me today? Yes, answer. That's the question. That. Okay, first of all, you have, how many wives did he have? That's not answer no, the question. 9 to 13. Okay, fair enough. Name them. <laughs> it has nothing to do with what you say in name. Because, because if you name them, on a background history, then you won't understand. Number one. Number two, you did not beat any big wives. We just read it to you. Do you not believe what what the Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim says? Okay. So do you agree with Sahih Muslim? Of I do. Right. We have just read you from Sahih Muslim, which is Sahih, authentic. Okay. And it states clearly that Muhammad struck Aisha on the chest that caused her what pain. So if I strike you in the chest. And it caused you pain. What have I done? According to you. No, no. What have I done to you? According to you. So if I if I do this. If you strike me, call, strike me in my chest, and it causes me pain. What have you done? Don't, don't wiggle around it. What have you done? According to you, No, I'm saying what have you done to me? No, you beat me. Okay. Yeah, right. So we're reading you. We're stating what Muhammad did to Aisha, who's supposed to be one of his best wives. Yes, and. He strikes on her chest, causes her pain. What did Aisha do to him? Okay, first of all, there's no such condition like that. I want you to pull it out. Sahih Muslim, 21, 27. This is unbelievable. Out, and Muslim said, speak as well today, without any shame, tells us there is not such a hoodie like show that. Show me my phone, show me my phone. Show me my phone. Okay, I'm trying to call you. Sahih Muslim, call him for. 21-27 Muhammad beat Aisha on her chest which caused her pain How can that be the best husband? That doesn't look like a best husband 21-27 yeah. 1127 yeah. But you know what's interesting about that? It seems like we've got um, a, a Muslim in front of us and it seems that even he has a better set of moralities, moral standards, than his so-called prophet, who is meant to be that perfect role model, who he's supposed to be emulating. It seems that this man here will not beat his wife, yet we have the perfect role model, Muhammad, who beats his wife, and Muslims claim that he's perfect example for all of mankind. Now, as for me, I would never follow that example, but what I would do, I would follow Jesus' example. But we, we'll talk a bit more about that in a minute. As Muslim is reading the Sahih Muslim 21 27, let's read, continue to read what else, how it tells us okay, about 
how the best example Mohammed was when okay. it comes to the beat, his wife. Right, so sh should we just read this? Um, so this, yeah, 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 okay. All right, so, so we're gonna look at uh, Mohammed giving some advice, okay? So is it Mohammed? Um, where is it? So, uh, okay. okay. Narrated. Narrated. Ikrima refers divorced his wife whereupon Abdurrahman B. Azube al Qurezi married her. Aisha said that the lady came wearing a green veil and complained to her, Aisha, of her husband and showed her a green spot on her skin caused by beating. It was the habit of ladies to support each other. So when Allah's apostle came, Aisha said, I have not seen any women suffering as much as the believing women. Look, her skin is greener than her clothes. Okay? When Abdul Rahman heard that his wife had gone to the Prophet, he came with his two sons from another wife. She said, by Allah, I have done no wrong to him, but he is impotent and is useless to me as this, holding and showing the fringe of her garments. Abdul Rahman said, by Allah, O oh Allah's apostle, she has told a lie. I am very strong and can satisfy her, but she is disobedient and wants to go back to Rifia, uh, sorry, Rafa. Allah's apostle said to her, if that is your intention, then know that it is unlawful for you to remarry Rifa, Rifa's unless Abdul Rahman has sexual intercourse with you. Let me just summarize That's what I heard. Yes. A woman who has got green spots on her skin. Mm. General knowledge question. Why does someone get a green spot on her spot and uh, on her skin? Um, when perhaps uh, when they've damaged themselves or they've fallen over or perhaps they've been beaten or whatever. Yeah. So in this occasion, green spots on her skin are caused by beating. According to Sahih Bukhari 715, she was beaten and she was beaten very badly that her skin was greener than her dress. Okay? And then Aisha confessed that she never seen Muslim women are suffering, sorry, women are suffering as much as Muslim women. Who's with him? Who's with her? Her husband beat her, Rifai's wife, Rifai's divorced wife, got beaten by her husband. Husband beat her and then caused her skin to be green. Okay? She goes to the Muhammad and Aisha. What is the solution? Does Muhammad turn to husband and then say, why did you beat your wife? Don't do it again. No, he doesn't, it doesn't look like he, he did that. He doesn't say that. <laughs> Sir, if you see, I got beaten by my husband and my skin is greener than my, my dress. What would you tell me? What would you tell my husband? I'm telling you, forgive your husband. Your husband forgive you. Because I'm crying to say forgive. Okay? That I need to tell you. So the man... So you, you would advise me okay? and also you would advise my husband. You, I can't tell you divorce or you, with your husband. This is not fair. Okay? What I need to tell you, you will tell your husband. Because you married. You know? No, this is Muslim. I'm Christian. Both Christian. Both Christian. Okay. Okay. You know that what I'm so, saying. Question is very simple. Sir? Sir? Sir, sir, have you already sir, found, a, found a verse? Why are you are looking for the hadith? You can't find it. You couldn't find it? Can you tell me, sir? If you see me, I am beaten by my husband. What would you tell me? Yeah. Would you tell my husband, why did he beat me? Don't do it again. Or would you tell me, stay with your husband? I wouldn't have a say. 
You wouldn't have a say. Harder, harder, harder. Her say, yeah. a woman is suffering, her skin is greener than her dress, and you would be just silent. Silent means that is all right. Sorry? Her dress is blue. Her dress is green. No, we just read it to you. We just read it. Her dress is green. No, no. No, okay, her let me ask you a question. Do you have, sis do you have sisters? Than her dress. Do you have sisters? Do you, do, you, do, do you have a mom? Okay. Yeah, some people have mothers. Yeah? Passed away, whatever. The question I'm asking is this, yeah? Is if your father, your father beats your mother, yeah? And to the point that her skin starts to change color. Okay, I mean, regardless, forget about the skincare. Yeah? If your father beats your mother, yeah? Okay? Would you say, oh, well, you know, you know, just continue having sex? Or would you say, that's what we just read. Or would you say, you ought not to beat the uh, mother. She, that's wrong. That's what you say. But Muhammad didn't. And Muhammad is meant to be your perfect role model, but you have better role models than Muhammad. It's not only you have better than better moral standards than Muhammad, Mor yeah, yeah. you have a better. You showed you. You're not listening. You're not listening. Allah. Yeah. Surah 4, verse 34. Sahih Muslim. Sahih Muslim. 715. Woman is beaten and her skin is greener than her dress. What Muhammad says, remember Muhammad is the best husband. What he says, go and continue to have we're, we're sex reading a minute. with this guy. Sahih Bukhari. You cannot divorce her. Sahih Bukhari 715. We just read it. Read it again. Read it again. Uh, so, okay. Just read a bit where he beats it. Yeah. She, her skin was greener than her dress. No, no, which caused. No, we can't read it. We, we keep repeating ourselves. Which Sorry, but if you listen then. Aisha said, I have not seen any woman suffering as much as the believing woman. Look, her skin is greener than her clothes. Muhammad said to her, Muhammad said to the woman who is bitter, okay? Not to the husband, but to the woman who is bitter. If your intention, then know that it is unlawful for you to remarry in Rifais unless trust, trust the lady. woman has had sexual intercourse with you. We, we got a Muslim lady there. It's Sahih Bukhari 715. Yes, Sahih Bukhari 715. Okay. Sahih Bukhari hadith number 715. Muhammad doesn't turn to the husband and then say, Who do you think you are? You are beating this woman in this stage. But, but Muhammad turns to the woman and then says, Go. It is unacceptable. You know why it is unacceptable? Because if this is what the best husband does, and if this is what people think is the example to all mankind, we must concern for every married woman. Yeah. What do you talk to See, that's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. See, see, see that? Ah, that's the issue. Yes. Okay, so tell us. You have checked it, but your interpretation is wrong. Oh you my checked God. it, and my interpretation is wrong. Now hold up. What is wrong? Yeah. Read it, read it, read it, read it. Start heckling, start heckling, start heckling. You read it all the context, and then tell us, did Muhammad strike his wife? Strike, strike. Which so what do you do? Oh, oh. Which means you do Because you know why? Because the wife is not Arabic. Which means? 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 Yeah. This is the pocket. Okay? Yeah. They get that a lot of speakers for them. You see, spoken just 
just like this. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, but even, 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 yeah, go on, go on. Muhammad! to cause pain to, to a woman, to a wife. It's not okay. See, that's the problem we have as well. See, this is the issue we have because it seems to me that when I meet gentlemen like yourself, we're Muslims, I'm assuming, you have decent role models, I mean, decent moral standards, decent moral standards, which seem to exceed your own profit. Yeah, I know, but look at us. Go look at us. Yeah, and it causes the pain. Okay, and where could you be the story? It comes from Sahih Muslim 21 27. Yeah. He's the problem. Sahih Muslim 21 27. Yeah. Go check it. He's the problem. Okay. 2018. 2127 had the number. You tell us you never heard that story before. Isn't it shame that as a Muslim, you know Muhammad is the best example? He is, he is. But what kind of best example is this? Beating your wife from your chest? What kind of example is that? Okay. What? That is unacceptable. Don't smoke. Are you serious? First party. First party. Yeah. Yeah. It's not I make my mind up. It is Sahih Bukhari. Sahih Muslim 2012. Muhammad beat Aisha badly from her chest. Now you beat her. And she went to a judge, and the judge yeah. couldn't, you know, yeah. help her out. Yeah, yeah. Would you, you see our concern? So our concern? Yes. Please educate us. What did you get your options? 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 Oh, question is, if Mohammed beat Aisha, then she had the option to divorce her, why she did not? That's an awesome question. 251? Where, where? 251. Why did Aisha not divorce her husband because Mohammed beat her from the chest? Because, because, because it is the divine revelation. Allah orders in Surah 4, chapter 4, husband can beat their wives. Muhammad is just being a, a good Muslim. Husband, Muhammad is being 
Hatun, Hatun. Faithful. Look, I'm a Muslim and I'm married. My wife shouts at me. I never, never talk to her. <laughs> because you're better than Muhammad. Okay, okay, this, this is the one. Because you're better. This is the one. It's about the date the Prophet gave it to his wife. So where did you make up this story? I have no idea. Yeah, this is the hadith. Is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where's the English version? Yeah. So, so, yeah, so it's about the date the Prophet gave to his wife. So where did no. You got it wrong. No, you got it wrong. Okay, you go, all we're saying is you got the wrong hadith. You got the wrong one. So what we yes. Okay. So what I'm saying is you got to look it up, yeah. 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 It's a different question. We can address that. My My friend, this is. I'm gonna get to this. No, it's not okay. So okay, there is a book somewhere. Says I did it. Yeah. So, so what we're saying, what we're, what we're saying is that on at least a couple of occasions, we read two hadiths. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One minute, one minute. On two hadiths, we just read that Muhammad is giving advice to his companions to beat their wives. He's the Arabic translation for you. Even if you read the Arabic. It's not talking about the dates. It is talking about Muhammad went to graveyard. Men and women have the same rights. Because Aisha called her and said, "Don't tell me that you're not allowed to talk to me." Because I'm allowed to talk to you. 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 Because I'm allowed to talk to
Sikhism, but it doesn't mean you're right. So it's a, it's a, a waste of time I, arguing that. I agree it's that a waste of time. My knowledge is weak, but I, I guess your knowledge is strong about Bible. Mine, but so it's an irrelevant. It's irrelevant. I'm going to give you. I'm not. I'm not answering the question because I don't know. What does Bible teach us for husbands to do today in wife and wife to do today in husband? Women divorcing their husband. What is the Bible? If Ephesians chapter five, very good. Wives, submit to your husband. Amen. 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 Yeah, so, the should submit to the Are you listening? Or are you just I'm listening to what he says? Listen. Husband, love your, your wives. There's so many words in that world. I love the church. You don't say the same. But my you know, you know, listen, right? You don't care. To make her holy. To change the subject, you're freed. You're freed. You're freed to deal with your Quran. You're freed to deal with your Hadiths. You're freed to deal with Muhammad, your Prophet, and you're freed to deal with Allah, your your, your God of Quran. And the problem is because you're free to do this, you're kind of changing subjects. You're talking about something irrelevant. We are not speaking about divorce. We're not speaking about if a, a woman can get divorced. The question we're asking is, is it okay that the perfect role model of Islam advises or encourages women to go back to their husbands who's beating them without first correcting the man if he's the perfect role model, perfect example for mankind? Of course. Of course. Of course. No. Are you I am, yes, I am married, yes. We acknowledge that... Of course we acknowledge that men sin against God, they sin against God. We change the subject, divorce is not a subject. And we are all sinful human beings. You're afraid. And we all acknowledge that relationships and marriage is very, very difficult. You need to give a lot, husband needs to give a lot, wife okay. needs to give a lot. But, but as marriage, marriage takes part... When I come down, we'll talk about something else, but not this as subject. As marriage, as marriage for life between back. one husband and one wife, we look at the examples in Islam, and then we see this so-called divine revelation puts women in a very, very difficult position, Is it, what was that? We see it is first and first example. Even though the Muslims acknowledge their moral standard is higher than Muhammad and higher than Allah. Therefore, we come to the Christian scripture where Christian scripture teaches husband must love the wife. Is Christ love the church?
Amen. What did he do? He gave his life for the church. He didn't beat up the church. <laughs> he didn't give the bruises to the church. But he gave himself for the church. Therefore, Muhammad not only cannot be any best example, he get crossed when it comes to the best husband, when it comes to the best advisor, and when it comes to the best prophet. It is not acceptable. Give up this religion called Islam. Give freedom to the wives. Give freedom to other human beings. Amen. 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 Yeah? <laughs>